hello friends what's up so in this video we'll continue taxes in india in this particular video we will focus majorly on different topics of taxes like what is a direct tax what is indirect tax okay what are the different taxation system like progressive taxation proportionate taxation regressive taxation uh, so we'll see different kinds of taxes here uh, this is just an introductory video to different kinds of taxes as we go ahead we'll study each and every one of them in more detail तो इस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो में हम लोग स्टडी करेंगे डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टैक्सेस के बारे में जैसे डायरेक्ट टैक्स क्या होते हैं इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स क्या होते हैं तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स सो वाई डू वी कॉल देम डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट ओके सो सी डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस इसलिए बोलते हैं वी कॉल देम डायरेक्ट बिकॉज they are directly collected they are directly collected from the people who bears the burden of burden of the tax okay so direct taxes are directly collected from the people who actually bear the burden of the tax मतलब जिन लोगों के ऊपर वो टैक्स का बर्डन है जो एक्चुअल में पे कर रहे हैं उस टैक्स को तो सरकार उन लोगों से डायरेक्टली वो टैक्स कलेक्ट करती है इसलिए उसको डायरेक्ट टैक्स बोलते हैं वेयर एज इन द इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स इट इज नॉट कलेक्टेड इट इज नॉट कलेक्टेड डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम दोज हु बियर्स द burden of this tax okay so ultimately whoever bears the burden of this tax money is not collected tax money is not collected directly from them but it is collected from somebody else like for example if you buy something and there is a excise duty or gst okay applied on it so ultimately the consumer of that product pays this gst or excise duty to the government but it is not collected individually by every consumer but it is collected by the manufacturers or the service providers and ultimately it is paid to the government by the manufacturers not the individual consumers but the tax burden is on the individual consumers so that's why such taxes are called as indirect taxes so this is the basic difference now let us look at uh some other differences between the two in di in di direct taxes the direct taxes are levied on income and activities conducted okay so direct taxes are usually levied on income so income tax is an example of direct tax and also the activities conducted okay so this is the example of direct tax now in indirect tax it is levied usually on a product or a service for example simple example is gst okay it is an indirect tax burden of tax cannot be shifted because as i have already explained to you it is a direct tax so whoever bears the burden of the tax that person directly pays the tax so the burden is not shifted to some other person but here the burden of tax can be shifted for example manufacturer manufacturer first pays the tax to the government but manufacturer collects it from the wholesaler then the wholesaler will collect it from the retailer retailer will collect it from the consumer like this this is a simple supply chain so as you can see the burden of taxes is shifting so initially it was on manufacturer but he shifted the burden to wholesaler wholesaler shifted it to retailer and retailer shifted it to consumer like this so burden of tax is usually shifted here but ultimately who pays to the government it is the manufacturer paid directly by the concerned person okay direct tax is directly paid by the person concerned and it is paid indirectly by the producers by the manufacturers in direct taxes tax collection is difficult because it has to be collected from individuals theek hai ek ek aadmi se collect karna padta hai isko whereas it is relatively easier to collect because it is uh, collected from the producers so one producer can pay it for lakhs and crores of people together right so it is relatively easier to collect example is income tax wealth tax transaction tax etc okay here the example is gst vat custom tax etc 
Other examples of direct tax is also corporate tax, which is paid by the companies. Capital gains tax, we will see what are these later on. Basically, it is a tax which is on the capital gain of any asset or security that you are holding. So whatever the value is increasing of that over the years, that is called as capital gains. And whatever tax you pay on that is known as capital gains tax. Then gift tax, if you are receiving any gift, estate tax, which is known as inheritance tax. For example, whatever uh, property or asset you are inheriting from your parents or from anybody, uh, on that you have to pay some tax that is known as estate tax. Again, it is directly paid by the person concerned. Then wealth tax. Wealth tax is the value of property that you hold. Okay, so for example, whatever assets and property you hold, you have to pay an annual tax on that wealth tax. We will see later on that these taxes are already abolished in India. But these are just the examples. And then there is a fringe benefit tax. Okay, fringe benefit tax is a tax which is paid uh, by the people who are working in mostly private sector so they get some facilities some benefits by the company and uh, the company then deducts uh, the tax from their salary uh, which is known as fringe benefit tax the tax which is on the value of benefits that they are getting from the company apart from the pay okay so these are some of the examples we will see them in detail later on now in indirect taxes uh, the more examples are excise duties sales tax entertainment tax service tax okay these are the different kinds of uh, taxes uh, which come under the indirect tax category then tax evasion is more possible in direct tax okay tax evasion meaning you don't pay the taxes to the government okay so basically you are eligible you are supposed to pay the tax but you are not paying the tax that is known as tax evasion and it is more possible in direct tax because individually people fill the tax returns here and individually tax has to be collected so people will evade taxes okay in order to uh, you know uh, keep the money with them they will not pay taxes and it is more possible in indirect taxes it is less possible because it's directly collected from the producers so producers have all these different accounting systems and they have to be accountable they have to keep all the accounts and uh, manage all the records so it is less possible to evade taxes here Direct taxes are usually progressive in nature or at least proportional in nature, whereas indirect taxes are regressive. Okay, we'll see what is the difference between these and you will understand why. Now, what are progressive, proportional and regressive taxes? Let us understand this. Progressive tax is a tax where higher the income, higher the tax rate. Okay. So tax rate is always one thing you should keep in mind. What is the meaning of tax rate? Tax rate is basically the tax you pay. Okay, divided by your income. This you should remember. For example, the tax you pay is say 5000 rupees and your income is say 1 lakh rupees. Okay, so uh, your tax rate is 5%. This is a simple formula. So tax rate in progressive is that if your income is higher, you will pay the more tax rate, meaning rich people, rich people will pay more tax, will be taxed more, will pay more tax at a higher rate. Okay. For example, if your income is 10 lakh, you will pay 30% tax. But if your income is only 5 lakh, you will pay 10% tax. Okay. So this is known as progressive taxation. People who have more ability to pay, they will be taxed at a higher rate. This is the progressive tax. What is the example? Income tax, pro corporate tax in India. So, this company ka jada profit hota hai, usko jada corporate tax lagta hai. Surcharge bhi jada lagta hai. Ye humne pichle video mein dekha tha. Income tax, higher the income rate, higher the slab, right? So, income tax is also a progressive tax. Now, what is the sec second type of taxation system? Proportional taxation. Proportional meaning higher the income, higher the tax in the same proportion, but same tax rate. For example, I'll, I'll show you. For example, if your income is, income is 5 lakh, you are paying 5000 rupees. If your income is 10 lakh, you are paying 10,000 rupees. So what is the percentage here? 
here percentage is what 5000 divided by 5 lakh right it is 1 percent tax here 10,000 divided by 10 lakh so again income is uh, the tax rate is 1 percent so even even if your income is more your tax rate is same that is known as proportional tax rate okay but the absolute amount of tax that you are paying is higher so person who is earning 5 lakh is paying 5000 person who is earning 10 lakh is paying 10000 tax rate is same but the absolute amount of tax is more so higher the income higher the tax in proportionate terms but the same tax rate okay tax rate is same here the difference was that the tax rate was higher 5 lakh person is paying 5 percent 10 lakh person is paying 10 percent for, for for an example now what is the benefit of proportional tax rate over the progressive tax rate see here what is happening in in progressive tax rate if you are earning more you are you are getting taxed more for example if you earn 5 lakh you pay only 10 percent tax but if you are earning 10 lakh you are paying 30 percent tax so basically in a way you are getting disincentivized to work more you will think that oh i am earning the double here like 5 lakh to 10 lakh but my tax rate is increasing by three times right my tax is increasing by three times so my income is getting doubled from 5 to 10 but my tax is getting tripled from 10 to 30. so it is a kind of penalty on you for earning more so it is discouraging you from earning more people will don't want to earn more because now you will feel that you know you will have to pay more taxes so the benefit of progressive tax is that it encourages people to work more no penalty to work more because right because if you earn more you will definitely pay more tax but in proportionate terms right if you will pay the same percentage of tax like for example here you will pay 5000 here you will pay 10000 but your income is doubling your tax is also only doubling not more than double like that okay so this is the benefit of proportional tax rate what is a regressive tax rate it is the opposite of progressive higher the income lower the tax rate if you are earning high you are paying the low tax rate you are getting taxed at low rate excise gst most of the indirect taxes are regressive taxes how now i'll give you an example for example like iphone mobile okay let us consider that iphone mobile is cost is rupees one lakh on that the gst tax is say rupees ten thousand okay so ten 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 thousand is the gst that you are paying on uh, on the mobile now if say for example if a person who is earning one lakh rupees per month okay one one lakh rupees per month he is paying one lakh uh, ten thousand rupees as tax so what is his tax rate his tax rate is ten thousand divided by one lakh correct because his income is one lakh okay so now he is paying ten thousand so he is paying ten percent tax but say if a person whose income is one crore whose income is one crore so he is, he is paying the same amount of tax on iphone because iPhone company will not say, oh, you are earning one crore. I will take more tax from you. He will pay the same tax. He will pay the same 10,000 tax, right? Now he is paying 10,000, but his income is one crore. Correct. So he is paying only 0.1% tax here. So you see tax rate that is GST is 10,000 absolute amount on one lakh per person who is earning one lakh is paying 10% tax person who is only one crore he is paying only 0.1 percent tax compared to his income so indirect taxes are regressive in nature okay so ambani is also paying the same tax on iphone and a common person who is earning one lakh two lakh rupees annually is also paying the same tax on the iphone or for that matter any other commodity so these are the three systems i hope you have understood progressive tax proportional tax and regressive tax Now there is another very important concept which is known as sin tax. What is a sin tax? See, the word sin means pap in Hindi. Okay, to do something wrong. Okay, Hindi means pap bolte hai. Sin matlab pap. So, a tax which is imposed on such items which are considered to be harmful to the society. Okay, 
सच आइटम्स विच आर हार्मफुल टू द सोसाइटी एट लार्ज एंड सच आइटम्स आर टैक्स एट अ हायर रेट ओके सो दैट द गवर्नमेंट डिस्करेजेज इट्स यूज द गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट वॉन्ट यू टू यूज इट मोर एंड देर फोर इट इज टैक्स एट अ वेरी हाई रेट एंड सच अ टैक्स इज नोन एज सिन टैक्स बिकॉज दोज आइटम्स आर हार्मफुल टू द सोसाइटी ओके एग्जाम्पल इज टबेको गैम्बलिंग अल्कोहोल सिगरेट्स एट्सेट्रा सो दीज आइटम्स आर टैक्स एट अ हायर रेट एंड बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू डिस्करेज द यूज ऑफ सच प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज एंड दे आर टैक्स एट हायर रेट एंड सच अ टैक्स इज नोन एज सिन टैक्स बिकॉज इट इज ऑन अ सिन गुड्स दीज गुड्स आर नोन एज सिन गुड्स बिकॉज दे आर हार्मफुल टू द सोसाइटी इट इज डन टू डिस्करेज पीपल टू यूज द प्रोडक्ट लेस एग्जाम्पल इज जी एस टी जी एस टी ऑन टोबैको इज ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट द हाइएस्ट स्लैब रेट ओके ऑल दो टोबैको इज एन ईटेबल पीपल विल से दैट इट इज एन ईटेबल इट इज द सब्सटेंस टू ईट बट इट इज टैक्स एट ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट सो दैट पीपल विल बी डिस्करेज टू ईट मोर टोबैको कंज्यूम मोर टोबैटो टोबैको देन ऑनलाइन बेटिंग गैमलिंग टैक्स एट थर्टी परसेंट ओके सो अगेन इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्करेज गैमलिंग एंड बेटिंग गवर्नमेंट इज टैक्सिंग इट एट थर्टी परसेंट इट इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी गुड रेवेन्यू सोर्स ओके इट इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी गुड रेवेन्यू सोर्स फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सेन टैक्स एंड गवर्नमेंट कलेक्ट अ सब्सटेंशियल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम इम्पोजिंग द सेन टैक्स विल डिस्कस टैक्सेशन इन मोर डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो